This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Today we are going to take a look at Darth Vader. Um, specifically the Ralph McQuarrie concept Darth Vader. Um, Ralph McQuarrie was an artist that uh, George Lucas had went to and um, commissioned him to do artwork for his new Flash Gordon space opera. And um, basically the entire look of Star Wars is from Ralph McQuarrie. Um, I've always loved his concept Vader. You can really see the uh, samurai influence on Darth Vader how he's got like this big scooped back samurai helmet um it's just a little bit meaner looking than how vader ended up turning out um my favorite vader is the vader from the first star wars movie the one they call a new hope now um because of the shape of his helmet it was bigger and wider and more scooped back and looked more like like a samurai helmet and I just find it very very cool well this look is even meaner than that um, so I just got this in this is the two pack which is a Disney store exclusive and as you can see it's Darth Vader but first off you'll notice They've given him a blue coloring. Uh, look at that face, isn't that cool? They basically took their six inch black series action figure. Um, they gave it a new head. They colored the whole figure blue and they made his cape um, fringed on the ends. Same with his little robes. They're cut kind of Dracula style. And, um, but I would have never in a million years thought we would have got a six inch, uh, you know, one twelfth scaled concept Darth Vader. So I'm super pleased with this thing. Like I said, I've always loved this look of Darth Vader. Ever since I was a little kid and I saw the concept paintings, I fell in love with those. I believe my first Star Wars t-shirt I ever owned in the 70s was of uh, the Ralph McQuarrie Vader head. Um, so I met Ralph McQuarrie before he passed away. I met him at a comic book convention. And this rendition of Obi-Wan that comes with the Darth Vader... Um, that's pretty much Ralph McQuarrie. This this version of Obi Wan. I think that's just sort of a uh, them paying tribute to him. But that's a that's pretty much Mr. McQuarrie right there. I haven't taken Obi Wan out. I just didn't wasn't too excited about that figure. But I will take him out later. But, you know, the main reason I got it was for this really cool version of Vader. So it's, it, it's cool when you read about how this came to be. Um, so Darth Vader, I mean, Darth Vader... George Lucas's original description that he gave Ralph McQuarrie was that, you know, oh, uh, just make him, you know, like in black robes, a lot of black robes. <laughs> That's pretty much the only vague design element he told him was that the guy was going to be covered up in black robes and to just go from there. And Ralph McQuarrie came up with the idea of, well, in George's script, you've got them fighting from Starship to starship um they would need breathing apparatus to go to go jumping from spaceship to spaceship and 
that's pretty much where Vader's helmet started. Was the fact that they were going to have to go from spaceship to spaceship battling. I believe, yeah, George was only telling him he needs to be in black robes and maybe a scarf around his face. But he was, he was pretty vague with, you know, any more descriptions. He pretty much let Ralph McQuarrie run with the idea. And luckily for us, this is what he came up with. <laughs> Okay, next up is two um, of the three and three-fourth inch concept Darth Vader's. This is the same figure. It just came with two, two different heads, and so I, I bought two of them so I could display both heads. This one looks a little bit more like the Vader that, that we're used to. It's very cool. I like this one. This one's sort of more insect-like and the, the shape of the helmet is even more medieval Japan samurai looking. The way it flares out like that. But the ultimate um, Ralph McQuarrie Darth Vader uh, that I have is this is a um, vinyl model um, from Kotobukiya. And this is the artwork that I fell in love with as a little kid. That painting right there, which has um, Darth Vader fighting Luke Skywalker. And if you notice, um, you know, Luke is wearing breathing equipment as well. So it kind of explains Vader's getup. I don't think George Lucas had it all fleshed out yet as to he needs this armor to keep him alive. He's a cyborg. I, I don't think that was all fleshed out at first, um, but these are very cool. They're one six scaled. And they look just like the painting. Luke. It's his breathing gear and his his lightsaber. Kind of neat how the lightsabers uh, flare out from the hilt. Let's take a look at the main man himself. Take the lightsaber out so I can show his face. 
face off there. Very cool. He's got sort of a, he's black, but he's like hit with this midnight blue everywhere. So those are my Ralph McQuarrie Vaders. Um, I do have one honorable mention. Um, this Darth Vader came with a, um, a Princess Leia figure. I think it was like an Elseworld story or a, like a what if type situation story. But... Um, This version of Vader looks very much like Ralph McQuarrie's artwork. Don't you think? It just looks like one more mean iteration of Vader. So he gets a he gets a pass because I think they they use Ralph McQuarrie's artwork to come up with this figure. And um, while we're here. Uh, These aren't Darth Vader, but these are Ralph McQuarrie um, action figures. And they were in the same bag as these guys, so I thought I would show them off too. These are uh, Ralph McQuarrie concept stormtroopers. So, this is a stormtrooper. Yes, they had lightsabers comes with a shield too that he holds in this hand and he's got a, a blaster there at his side but it's just very cool to see where the artwork was and and how we got to where we finally got to and had they stuck with these designs had they made them just like this you know it would have been really cool also but you can definitely see the Stormtrooper in there that we, we ended up with. There's a concept Stormtrooper. 
And then here are the concept uh, stormtroopers in the snow, the snow troopers. I always love those, uh, the making of Star Wars, the making of Empire Strikes Back, those art books when I was little. And seeing this artwork in there, I would always just gush over, wow, look at those. So this is like a concept uh, Imperial Hoth Trooper, uh, Imperial Snow Trooper. I don't know, are they, they ever referred to as snow troopers? Aren't they just stormtroopers, but in cold outfits? I, I don't know. Do they ever call them snow troopers in the movies? I don't remember them calling them that. Here's another one. Here's another concept. This one's badass looking. This one, the Japanese influence is big time. The shoulders the helmet so those are some Ralph McQuarrie concept stormtroopers anyways it's it's you know it's really cool to see where Vader came from he's probably like the greatest movie villain of all time the best looking villain movie villain of all time and it's just neat to see his evolution anyway if you guys are interested in this concept vader he is available at the um that Shop Disney website. He's only available there. I don't know, they might be getting them in the Disney stores, physical stores, but um, the nearest one to me closed down. It's no longer in the mall. So um, I ordered this guy online. And yeah, the only way to get him is with the um, <laughs> Ralph McQuarrie looking Obi-Wan Kenobi. In this two pack. Very cool. Anyway, I did just get this in, so I wanted to show it off. Concept Art Edition. Okay, guys. Thanks for stopping back in. I will talk to you later.